You are watching TCM. I'm Alicia Malone, and together we are exploring a lineup of films starring Sidney Poitier, our star of the month. Now, he was not just an actor. Throughout his five decade career, Poitier also directed, wrote, and produced. He even owned a production company called E&R. And up next is the first film E&R made as part of a deal with Columbia Pictures. From 1971, it's Brother John. And Poitier also stars in the film playing the title character, a mysterious man named John Kane, who arrives back in his hometown after a long absence. He's supposedly there for his sister's funeral, but the local doctor and the police think there is much, much more to his story. This idea came to Poitier one quiet evening when he was, quote, fueling my imagination with collected fragments from my checkerboard life. He tried to forget about the idea or just file it away for later, but Poitier said it refused to budge. The strange, fascinating tale of Brother John, said Poitier, haunted me until I committed myself to seeing it come alive on film. The original title was Kane, as in K-A-N-E, and as you may imagine, RKO Pictures thought that was a little too close to Citizen Kane and won a lawsuit against E&R on the basis of title copyright. So here is Brother John. Enjoy. A very mysterious movie, and behind the scenes, it was also quite groundbreaking. According to the producer Joel Glickman, Brother John had the most racially diverse crew ever seen in a Hollywood production up until that point. This came just after the Justice Department began to pressure the film industry to increase inclusion on sets, making the unions figure out a way to open their doors to new people. Unfortunately, Brother John wasn't a big hit, and as Sidney Poitier wrote in his autobiography, I, along with dozens of other creative people, poured a great deal of time and loving care into an unusual motion picture that audiences everywhere chose to ignore. Poitier had produced the film but decided not to direct it, even though he was very interested in trying his hand at directing. And that is what we'll see next, Sidney Poitier's directorial debut, and it's a western. Stay with us, you're watching TCM.